Hi, I'm Don Thomas, former NASA astronaut, and during my 20-year career with NASA, I had the great opportunity to fly on four different space shuttle missions, STS-65, 70, 83, and 94. I flew three times on Space Shuttle Columbia and once on Space Shuttle Discovery. I've had an amazing career as an astronaut. I've got to fly around the Earth about 700 times, and, and during those missions I traveled nearly 20 million miles. I've seen a million things out the window. It's been an amazing career for me, an incredible opportunity, and it all started for me when I was a small boy, age six years old. When I was six, the first American launched into space aboard a Redstone rocket. This was back on May 5th, 1961. I was in kindergarten at a school in Cleveland, Ohio, and they brought all the students to our school gymnasium to watch the launch on a small black and white TV monitor. I saw that launch and knew right then and there that I wanted to be an astronaut. The next year when I was in first grade, John Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth. And again at my school, they brought us to the gymnasium, we sat on the floor, we watched the launch, and I went back to my classroom that day with dreams of flying in space myself. John Glenn was orbiting the Earth, so when I went back to my classroom, my desk was along the windows, and I spent the rest of the morning not looking at the teacher and listening that well, but I was looking out the window, hoping that I'd catch a glimpse of John Glenn's capsule flying over Cleveland, Ohio. Little did I know that he wasn't passing over Cleveland that day, and even if he did, I wouldn't be able to see him from 200 miles up. But I always had this dream about going into space myself, and it was always a passion of mine, and it always motivated me to do my best in school. I wasn't sure what it took to be an astronaut when I was only six years old, and I didn't know how to become one, but I knew the one thing that was the most important was to get a good education. So I worked as hard as I could in school. I did my best in math, science, reading, history, all the subjects. I just always gave it my best shot. I never knew if it would be good enough to get into the program, but I figured I got to do my best. So it always motivated me, having this dream of flying in space by myself one day, always motivated me through school to do my best and study hard. The math and the science I enjoyed very much, and when I got into high school, I started thinking about going to college. I had dreams of becoming one of the science astronauts for NASA called mission specialists. They were starting to do more science experiments in space, and NASA was looking to hire more science background types. So I decided after high school to go on to college and graduated from Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio with a bachelor's degree in physics, and then went on and got my master's and doctorate degree in engineering from Cornell University. After that, I applied four times to get into the space shuttle program, into the astronaut program, before I was finally accepted back in 1990. So being from a small boy at six years old, it took me nearly 33 years to have my dream come true. I was 39 years old in uh, July of 1994 when I first launched into space on Space Shuttle Columbia on the STS-65 mission. And I gotta tell you, I had a huge smile on my face that day when I felt the initial push in my back as the shuttle took off because I knew that the dream of my lifetime was taking place right then and there before my very eyes. I was, had my helmet on, visors down, but I'm still screaming, Yahoo, inside my helmet. No one could hear me, but I was just thrilled because I was having this dream of my life taking place right then and there at, at that very moment for me. And you can have the dream of your life come true as well. It just takes a lot of hard work along the way and a lot of dedication. If you don't do well on a test, that's okay. That just means that you got to study harder the next go around. Don't give up on any subject. Don't give up on any dream that you have for what you want to do in the future. Just keep working hard at it and never give up. That's what I did and it allowed me to fly into space on my four shuttle missions. And like I told you, I traveled 600 times around the Earth. In the future, there's a lot of great missions for you down the road. In the year 2020, NASA's planning to send flights back to the moon to learn to live there for not days like we did during Apollo, but for weeks and months at a time. Hopefully our crews will live up there for six, nine, 12 months, really learning to live independently of Earth. And this is all in preparation for the next missions, the missions to Mars. And NASA plans to send astronauts to the surface of Mars beginning in the year 2040, roughly. That's about 30, five years from now, and this generation of astronaut is way too old to go to Mars. I'm too old, your parents are too old, 
Most of the teachers out there these days are too old to be the first to go to Mars. But the students today in the elementary and middle schools are the perfect age. Forty years from now, when NASA sends her crews to Mars, it will be your generation that will be the first one to set foot on Mars. So it's not only just going to Mars, you know, your generation will also be developing new pharmaceutical drugs, finding cures for the diseases that, that are still plague us here on Earth, and developing new electronics and new technologies that we can't even dream about today. And it all begins with a good education. So you can have your dream come true as well. You can do incredible things, uh, see incredible sights, just like I did. Uh, so I would encourage you all to, to study hard in math and science, do your best in school always, and never give up on your dream.